Hi, I wanted to explain to you about the Radiant. This is 8,000 watt, 48 volt hybrid inverter. And uh, one of these control modules has a temperature sem sensor fault. And so, being that this has been installed for about one and a half years, two years, it's got a five year warranty on it. And uh, Outback was gracious enough to send me another one because they. Uh, I guess they have to have this power module, which is 4,000 watt inverters, each one of these, uh, replaced. And when I install this, I wish I would have known this from the beginning, is to take these, these power modules out of here. Because this thing weighs over 125 pounds, and it was very hard for me to mount it. I mean, very, very difficult to pick it up and set it on the bracket. If I would known that, I would have taken this off and taken these power modules off. And I'll, Explain how you take these power modules out of here, since i got to replace one right now. Is that you get a, a wrench, um, a channel locks, and I'm taking both these out of here. Um, you just grab hold of those and take those off. That's what holds them on the bottom. And on the top, you're going to see there's two fans. I take off the fan that I'm going to take off, and there's two bolts behind it. 10 millimeter bolts, and that will let you pull this power module out. And that is the first step. And I want to explain one of the things that, that I found that you really need to do. This right here, what I'm holding in my hand, is a ground mount. It goes to an 8-foot rod outside the door here, outside my door. That grounds the batteries. And actually ground the, the case here itself, too. Besides, I've got it hooked up under this bar right here. And another thing I've done is, as you follow the positive lead, these are number two welding cable. It goes to a 250 amp breaker. And recently I've read some disturbing news that these may be not as good as they say they are. They may not trip at 250 amps. Even though I bought this from a solar company, actually Missouri Wind and Solar, I'm hoping they're going to be good. But it, it, just to be safe, I've ordered some regular fuses that I'm going to put between here and here, just the normal type fuses that are only good for one time, and I'm going to put those in addition. Now these shutoff that I have here, these are from uh, Harbor Freight, and they're supposed to be for 200 amps that they're supposed to disintegrate, but knowing that, you don't know that for sure. So I'm going to put another safety fuse right here just to protect from backfilling, because this is an 8,000 watt unit and I don't want to damage my batteries. I have uh, two banks of batteries, 16 in each bank, and these are at 105 amps each, so at 48 volts, still 105 amps, plus two of them. That makes it 210 amps, so uh, it's just to protect back feed against my very expensive battery bank. And I'm in the process right now because I've got a lot of inverters here. You can see I've got the Xantrax and two Sunny Boys and I've got another Outback here that I use for my wind generator. It's going right now but it's it's uh, not producing any power to the grid. If I were to do this all over again, if I could go grid tie, I'd be using this system right here which is totally grid tie or Probably better yet would be micro inverters under each solar panels. But I live in North Dakota and Nodak Electric, which has about, I don't know, six, eight counties up here. Very, very hard to hook up solar without going through a lot of hoops and great expense on my part. And uh, they want to have access to everything I have, and I don't like having people have access to my personal stuff. So I have chose to go with this Xantrex because it's a hybrid inverter. You can go off grid and then you can tie in all your other inverters, your grid tie inverters and uh, have your own power supply, I mean your own power supply. So I'm going to be uh, doing a, a separate panel and start wiring some of my select group and that'll be strictly off grid. My next inverter would be one similar to this. This is the 3500 watt 24 volt. Mine's, the other one I have is 
3,000 watts, but at 48 volt, and I'm going to be tearing down all my shelves here, and I'm going to be starting hooking up lithium ion packs that I've uh, discovered through Jehu Garcia out of California and Peter Matthews and some people out of New Zealand, which I have to give them great uh, respect because they've taught me how to build the packs. And I haven't done it yet because they're going to be mounted on this this very wall here that I had that I have set up here. So this is one of the first ones ever made, and it looks like it's working very well. Right now, it's putting out 4.0 seven kilowatts of power which I'm very happy about and my other one if I can get it focused are some used panels I bought from Sun Electric sharp panels they're 185's and they are producing very well today too here in North Dakota